Hi, I'm looking at work of artist Cherry and it's definitely like capturing a moment. It has this very vibrant, warm vibe to it and it just kind of makes you interact with that moment that the picture is describing. Caitlin is killing it. I love the pop culture references. Summer Walker, I've been listening to a lot of her music and this patch right here just completely does it for me. Coming to you from Los Angeles is CSULB students coming to visit Caitlin Cherry's solo uh, show and opening in Los Angeles, which is uh, exceeded all our expectations, I would like to say. Um, even more amazing in person. No picture could ever do any of these paintings justice. I think the mechanical aspect of it as well, bending the canvases, um, stretching them, the, the work and labor is like all in front of us and I mean she's a wonderful artist she obviously needs to keep making stuff hi um, I just like to say the art is so gorgeous to just look at in person um, the dimension of the paint layering hit by the light is absolutely amazing and adds so much depth to pictures that we usually only see online it's been really amazing and uh, more than I ever could have expected to see these in person. There's so much uh, labor and love that has obviously gone into like each individual section of each work and there's more pieces than I was expecting and uh, I could stay here all day and just sit and stare at these blown away by her work it's uh, the scale is very epic I'm drawn into this very seductive imagery of women the colors are luscious neons it feels very you know of the moment there's a lot of like selfies pictures that have been found from Getty images are excess of imagery that we have on the internet, the excess of self-documentation um, and documenting other people and kind of displaying that in a way that's completely surrounding us. It feels sort of immersive. Um, the colors are um, like bordering on garish, but they're also very fun, candy-like, which is kind of a good comment on that sort of that sort of balance or combination of this imagery that we have around us all the time. Why do women cause an exploratory reaction in the artist's men's eyes? I think we shouldn't consider men's eyes to begin with when making art. This is obviously women-centered and femme-centered and them-centered. So I don't think the artist is really thinking about men's eyes, more so like a representation of black women and culture. Um, yeah, I think that's just the most important over like what a man thinks of her artwork.